Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with another exciting review. Well, it's not that exciting. I did find a new product at the store today and check out what I found. Da -da -da -da. Look at that. It says only at Walmart. First response action vehicle from the Core Elite. And it's from Lenard. LT Lenard. Lenard Toys, maybe? LT? That's a new thing, right? LT? Anybody notice that? LT. And there's instructions on the bottom there to remove something with a screwdriver. Now, if we pull up... Hey, look. That's India Summer. <laughs> My favorite adult entertainer. Actress. Look at her. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> off topic okay this is a tank see and it comes with that dude plague so this is a mini tank uh, let's see uh, okay the back there you go right there they are mini they believe artificial intelligence is the future it says their leader wants a core agent himself. Blah, blah, blah. He injected himself with nanomites. Blah, blah, blah. They stole the idea from G.I. Joe, and he's here today. He wants to destroy the human race. Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. Anyway, that is the tank. And it looks like it just fits one dude. And it says, collect them all, each sold separately. And then there's the address. www. T H E C O R P S H Q dot com. And then there's another one, it just says Lenard.com. And they're in the United Kingdom. Way to go. Each sold separately. Okay, well, let's check it out. Uh, okay, hold on. It's got this little cool little plastic hook. I wonder if we could do something with that. Make a zip line. Uh, how do we open this? This calls for specialist equipment. Yes, folks, it's a job for the box cutter of freedom. Yes, it's the box cutter of freedom. Freeing toys since its inception here. Ah, look, there's some cello tape here. Look at Let's record the, the process. Cello tape has been sliced. Cello tape. Look. Ah, look. Oh, we open the cello tape. Ah, look. That pulls them forward. That gives us access to the tank. So, uh, ah, cello tape on this side. Right here. Look. Cello tape. Oh, yes. And on the opposite side. Yes, here we record the whole process. And yes, that spider bug thing is still inside the camera. Damn you. Damn you. Okay. That has been sliced, and it's opening up here. And let me move my mouse out of the way. And, uh, it kind of opened up. Let me see. Kind of just wants to slide out, sort of. It's attached right there. See the the cello tape here. More cello tape problems. Ah, ah. Okay. Okay. All right. The tank has been removed. It's very lightweight. It feels like practically nothing. And there's a dog tag here for uh, old plague himself why does he need a dog tag he's not doing any service oh look cello tape is holding it in place did i ruin it no almost a little goo gone take that off yes and it's pure cardboard folks yes it's unbelievable it's pure cardboard for future uh 
generations in the future when they manufacture toys without cardboard. Yes, this is genuine cardboard. It's paper. Look, this is a buffet for termites. Yes, termites, the bugs that eat wood. Plague, unknown, unknown. Advanced nanotech infiltration disruption. Yeah, sure. The cursed team leader. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. Master infiltration techniques and secret operations. Specializing in uh, innovative stealth technology and camouflage techniques. Night missions operative and thermal vision expert. Ability to get close to the evil doers and sabotage their plans. See, because he used to be a good guy. So they shouldn't have put that last part there. Because he's a good guy. Now he's a bad guy. So, eh. I'll dig up on... Uh, oh, look. He's got a little... Uh, for mountain climbing? What do you call that? Not a piton. Um, anyway, we can use that on the figure later. <laughs> Alright. Throw that to the side. Now, how do we free him? He is uh, being held by a security tie. Yes, folks. Look. Uh, let me see. Can we zoom in there a little bit? We're going to need... The Craft Scissors of Freedom. Here we go. And snap. Uh, okay. Yeah, do a little snipping. Okay, and let me see. Okay. All right. And that's how we do it. Now we throw this box on the floor. Away with you. And over here... We're going to actually need screws. Look at that. They're using screws. And they look like Phillips head. Okay. So I'm going to look in my uh, G.I. Joe repair kit here and break out a little tiny screwdriver. The one I use for G.I. Joe's. And here we go. See this screwdriver here? Uh, yeah. yeah, there you go. All right, we took that one off. See how this thing spins here? Just wedge that between your finger right there and then give it pressure. So when you go like this, it'll spin. That's why it's there. So, uh, this is pretty tight. Must be done with... Must be done with uh, power screwdrivers or power drills or drivers. All right, the plastic is off. Yay! Now we have some giant rubber bands. Okay. One's off. Uh, another rubber band's off. Okay. And it's a cool little tank. Uh, it's got a little Gatling gun right here on the side. See? Gatling gun. It's got a cool bumper. One of those donkey killers. It's a cattle guard. It's like here in Texas, we have those two. In case you run over cattle when you're crossing the uh, whatever, you're out in the crossing a railroad track or you're out in the field, you don't want the cow to destroy your vehicle. So you put these on your pickup truck. So mostly every guy in Texas or gal or cowgirl or anybody who's worth their salt usually has one of these on their vehicles to protect themselves from all the critters that tend to hop in front of your vehicle, whether it be deer, or wild hogs, or javelinas, or armadillos, they're going to hit this. Bang. Bang. All right. Now, according to the picture, you open that cockpit up, and ah, yes, look. It's a one-seater tank with two control knobs. How wonderful. Reminds me of that... Uh, what was that thing called? The Wolverine? Not the Wolverine. It was a G.I. Joe tank. It had, it was a, no, Armadillo. In fact, it was, I think, called the Armadillo. Anyway, let stick this guy in there like that. And, and pretend he's holding the things. Because I don't know how you're going to stick his hands on there and the control knobs. So let him kick back in there. Taking a leisure break. Close the hatch. So it snaps shut, and this thing just goes side to side. See, that's as far as it can shoot. But I mean, if he just turns around, it's like a zero-turn radius lawnmower. 
You can still kill the enemy. Very nice. I'm surprised. I'll just put some more paint apps here in the center. Cover this up. Got little wheels here. Got a number molded in there at the bottom. One, two, four, six. It looks like a pair of forks and a railroad track. I have no idea what that is. See that? Was it a WH? One, two, four, six, WH? Look at that. We're extreme close up there. 2016 Lennard made in China. All right. That dollar a week is paying off. Way to go, slave labor. Look at this. Very nice. Thank you, China. Thank you, slave labor. These toys are awesome. I'm enjoying them. All right, folks. Well, rush out to your local Walmart since they're available only at Walmart. Pick one of these up. Add it to your collection. It's going to look good on the diorama. And it comes with plague. There you go. Thumbnail. Like that. Like that. There you go. Right there. Yeah. They didn't even have a name. It just said uh, first response action vehicle. So this is their ambulance, maybe? I don't know. Look, it's got little lights in front of me. You can paint those yellow. But it is pretty cool. All right, I'll leave it right there. All right, thumbnail, thumbnail time. There you go. Or, how about like this? There you go. Thumbnail. Okay, folks. 12 minutes in. If you like videos like this, hit subscribe. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. And I'll get back to you. And I'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned for more cool product that I've been picking up at local stores. On the cheap. Oh, yeah. This thing's only like five bucks. So you can't beat it. Five dollars. Yay. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful day.